Welcome back. Uh, now, continuing with the NFL draft news, this uh, first round picks, what they should do, trade up, trade down, or, or, or stay put, uh, or trade back. The Eagles have the number 18, uh, the 18th pick in, this fir in the first round of this year's draft. They are pushing their chips to 2023 when, Q when QB may uh, resurface their radar if they sit tight <clears throat> and pick at number 15. They should look to deal again, this time to collect an, addition, an additional day to pick, while sliding slightly, slightly down in the first. And I think that's a good move. And I, and I think for this pick, I think that's a good move. So we'll see what happens. And I'll let you know. Uh, the uh, New Orleans Saints have a, number, have a 19th pick in the first round of this year's draft. And the media says the Saints stay put. Um, maybe they'd use this as part of a huge move up from number 16. And you see above, but the better plan is probably addressing multiple uh, needs at once. Ideally, leaving the first round with a new long-term options at tackle and wide receiver. And I, I agree wholeheartedly with that, and, and that is good. I think they should do that. Uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers have number 20 in this, and the 20th pick in the first round of this year's draft. And the media says the Steelers should uh, stay put in the first round. Um, a trade-up might be the only way to secure one of the top quarterback prospects with the retirement of Big Ben Roethlisberger. But we so... But are we so sure, excuse me, by being patient, Pittsburgh will likely at least have a crack at the last first round quarterback, whether it's Coral or Willis or Desmond Ritter. Uh, Desmond uh, Ritter, or, or, yeah, Ritter, Ritter, excuse me, without uh, mortgaging extra 20, 22 picks, they don't have. And I think they're going to have a crack at those, so I think it's best that they stay put. Uh, the New England Patriots have the 21st pick in uh, this year's first round of the NFL draft, and the media says the Patriots trade down. Uh, do they intend to compete with the Bills this year or, in, or remain ahead of the Dolphins? If so... They'd be just as wise to consider moving down and giving themselves a few sh shots at filling holes and a corner and and linebacker as making an upward splash. And I agree with that, and, and I'll keep you posted on that. Um, the Green Bay Packers have the uh, 22nd pick in the first round of this year's draft. And the uh, media says the Packers trade up. And I, I can agree with that. With an extra first from the, the, from the Devontae Adams deal, they should be as active as possible trying to swing, it, swing a move up mostly to replace Adams out wide. And I agree wholeheartedly with that. And, but it could go either way, so we'll have to wait and see. I'll... Keep the posting on that one as well. Um, the Arizona Cardinals trade down for two straight uh, years. They've approached free agency like it's 2017, uh, prioritizing order injured veterans. They're also without fourth and fifth rounders in a deep wide receiver and edge rusher class. They can afford to slide down and add another pick or two and I think that's what they they just might do that. And I'll keep you posted. The Dallas Cowboys have the uh, 24th pick in the first round of this year's draft. Um, 
and the media says the Cowboys stay put. Now they could, now they could use uh, immediate uh, O-line help. Zion Johnson or Kenyon Green both make some sense, or <clears throat> as uh, plug and play guards, and a wide receiver or pass rusher w could also be on the table. So uh, we'll have to wait and find out. Uh, the uh, Buffalo Bills have the 25th pick in this year's uh, first round of the NFL draft. In such a deep uh, wide receiver class, they can sit tight and wait for a high upside prospect like J like Jamison Williams or uh, Jahan uh, Dotson to fall in their in their laps. Josh Allen should be set should be satisfied regardless, and I, I think that he needs to be, and I think uh, they could uh, could. Uh, uh, find a high uh, prospect uh, being uh, Jamison Williams or Dotson or or two could fall in their laps either way. So we'll wait and see. Uh, the uh, Tennessee Titans have the uh, number 26th, have the 26th pick in this year's first round of the NFL draft, and the media says that the, the Titans stay put. There is a spot to watch for a surprise uh, quarterback pick, but it's also ideal for staying patient and seeing which uh, top OTs or wide receivers slide a uh, slide. Don't rule out a move up if they're really in interested in finding a Ryan uh, uh, Tanhill successor. And I and we'll see what happens with that. Well, we're going to see what they do. Uh, the 27th pick of the in the first round of this uh, year's draft uh, belongs to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and the media says that they stay put. Uh, their roster is already uh, uh, properly assembled for a legitimate playoff run. No need to force a, any minor issues and surrender uh, uh, valuable future picks to move into the top 25. Hold tight and bolster the depth off the edge or up front. And I agree with that. With uh, Tom Brady deciding not to retire and come back, I could, that's why I can agree with that. The Green Bay Packers, their other pick they have is the 28th pick of this year's first round of the NFL draft, and the media says that the Packers stay put. This is uh, assuming... They don't package uh, this one with number 22 uh, to move up. If the Packers can leave day one with a new starting receiver as well as a new offensive tackle or a pass rusher, Brian uh, uh, Gutenher, Guk, Gutkunst, should be uh, saluted, and I agree with that, so we'll see uh, what happens. The uh, Kansas City Chiefs have its 29th pick of this year's first round of the NFL draft with two first at their, uh, with two first at their disposal, excuse me, after the Tyreek Hill, Tyreek Hill deal uh, Kansas City's uh, prime to move and to move. Uh, the Chiefs are in win now mode as long as Patrick Mahomes is under center, and so leaping uh, other teams to add a top wide receiver makes a lot of sense, and that is absolutely true. The Chiefs also have, <clears throat> uh, and for that one, that was a trade up for the Chiefs for 29, and I agree with that. Now, the Chiefs also have picked the 30th uh, uh, pick in the first round of this year's NFL draft, and the media says the Chiefs stay put. Um, somebody's going to be uh, itching to uh, slip back into the first round here, but the Chiefs uh, have plenty of extra picks after dealing Tyreek Hill. If they can address... Uh, 
wide receiver uh, with number 29 or via trade up, they can add a pass rusher or cornerback help here. And that makes a lot of sense, and I agree with that. Uh, the Cincinnati Bengals trade down, and that's they had the 31st pick of this year's draft. Obviously, they are still in win-now mode coming out their Super Bowl bid, but in a draft where the uh, later, the latter first round uh, picks, excuse me, aren't entirely predictable, they shouldn't mind adding an extra pick or two to drop down a few spots and give someone else uh, a fifth-year option. And I can agree with that. And finally, the last pick of the first round, number 32, and that belongs to the Detroit Lions, which is their second pick in the first round. And the media says the Lions stay put. A trade down is just as smart. But let's say uh, they, <clears throat> they really are intrigued by a QB who is still on the board, uh, Desmond Ryder. Uh, securing a fifth-year option for a signal caller would be smart as well. And I can agree with that. And I'll, and I'll, I'll let you know what all these picks do. When I do my Scott Sports 101 uh, NFL uh, 2022 NFL Draft podcast, uh, beginning next Thursday was round one at eight o'clock on ESPN, and I will be uh, up in. Usually, I would go to my really good friend Matt Murphy's house and would do it from there, but he's not able to do it with me this year because his son, his youngest son, is making his first communion that weekend, and he has a meeting that night. So. I will do it from Studio B in my TV room uh, beginning at 8 o'clock on Thursday night. So look for that. I'm really looking forward to that. Well, even though the Cavs didn't make the playoffs, they're a young team, and I think they're going to come back and do really good next year. And I say thanks for a fun-filled season. You were one of the biggest surprises this year, Cavs. We salute you. Um. Yeah, the Monday's Guardians game got can't, was postponed due to inclement weather. And today's, uh, where Shane Bieber was supposed to start, was canceled, was postponed. And it will be a doubleheader tomorrow beginning at 1.30. And I believe Aaron Savali is on the hill for the Guardians. First pitch, 1.30 on Valley Sports, Ohio. So uh, watch for that. <clears throat> so... Uh, well, that's just about going to wrap it up for this edition of Scott Sports 101. I will be back next Thursday with my NFL Draft Podcast, the next three days, those three days, and that will lead up to, beginning with round one, leading up to round seven and pick 257, of course, which is, of course, Mr. Irrelevant. Uh, but until then, uh, always remember, be a team, be a team player, each and every day, in every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one. I'm done.